Hello and welcome to the second part of my Saint Rosé cosplay making of. If you're new here on my channel, I'm Melly and I like to make creative things. In this video it's all about the leather vest, so without further ado, let's get started. If you saw any of my other videos, you know I'm a mock-up person. It takes off a lot of stress knowing that I discovered difficult areas, mistakes or fit issues before cutting in my real material. Still the moment of cutting into the leather was hard. <laughs> I was lucky and got all my leather from a shoemaker on eBay for 20 euro, enough to make the vest, cummerbund and a bit more. The only issue was it is too dark, but we will take care of that later. I used the golden sharpie to mark the pattern pieces. By the way, you can find a link to my pattern in the description box below. I use no pins but these clips because obviously we don't want holes in the leather. And here you can see the dart already sewn. These weird shapes are the shoulder flaps that go also into the armhole. Next I stitch the shoulder seams. Yet again I'm thankful for my strong Yuki machine. I only used a Teflon foot and everything was fine. I could not use an iron on this project, so I used a hammer to try to make my seam allowance a little bit more flat. This is how it looks so far. For the zipper I used wonder tape. It holds my zipper in place without using pins. It actually dissolves when you wash the thing, but obviously I will not wash this thing, but it helped anyway. And luckily I have a Teflon zipper foot as well for my industrial machine. If you have one too, please check out eBay for sheep sets of many industrial feet. Now it's time for the facing. It goes almost all around the edges except for the hem. And off camera I stitched on the shoulder flaps which I had sewn right sides together and then turned to the outside. Of course you have to stitch the shoulder seams also on the facing first, not like me starting to clipping everything and then realizing this. In the shoulders are now four layers of leather on top of each other and it's slowly become more challenging to sew it. After defeating the facing I had to glue it down to the inside. I used basically a contact glue for leather. I had to apply it to both sides, let it dry a little and then press it down onto each other. But before I did this, I marked exactly where I had to put the glue. But I left out the area on the shoulder because I wanted to put my shoulder pads in there later. Please make sure to do this in a ventilated room and wear a respirator. I made her pearls that hang from the belt for a nice break from all the leather struggles and it was quite meditative. It's a round pearl and a cylindric pearl alternating. Alternating? You know what I mean. Now let's take care of the leather color. I really wanted to make it work with my sheep leather because it is a precious material. I don't want to waste anything more than I have to. I will link the paint that I used in the description box below, so please check this out. I also used cheap acrylic paint to get more variation of these colors. I basically wrapped it on with a sponge and with some old fabric scraps I took most of it off again. So it got the look of very worn out leather. But make sure to test it on a scrap piece first. I think it makes all the difference. And now I present to you the first crisis of this vest. Getting the eyelets in. Seriously, I had to try two different brands before I could get them in. The leather was just a tiny bit too thick on these areas. 
I use painter's tape to mark the position of the eyelets on the vest to be on the safe side. After that I made shoulder pads, because the character has quite square shoulders, they just have some height to them as they are much higher than the actress shoulders. The pads are tucked in between my facing and the outer leather. Remember I didn't glue it down there. So now it forms a nice little pocket for my shoulder pad. So the vest is finished for now. It's the most intricate leather piece I made so far. And here comes crisis number two, the cummerbund. Not gonna lie, this thing rubbed me off my good night's sleep. First I tried quilting the whole thing, but it looked stupid. Then I tried cutting strips of the bedding, but it got bunched up before I could pull it through the channel. I ended up making this very suspicious looking felt sausages with bedding in between and I pulled it through with a thick piece of wire. I ended up having the hooks set in by a shoe repair store this time. And here's the result, with some 3D printed pieces that I already painted. We use a set of 3D files by 3Dmon, link below, but I will not use all of them because some are not as accurate as I would want them to be, but it's a very good start. Alright, so this is it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my progress on this. Until then, see ya!